Hello, I'm Matt Miller, a Principal Solutions Consultant with SailPoint. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on identity security and SAP by talking about how SailPoint can seamlessly integrate into your existing SAP GRC deployment. While enterprises are focused on their cloud migrations, SAP teams need to keep the lights on with their existing legacy SAP systems. The business does not stop while the cloud transformation happens. To manage your existing on-premises deployment, SailPoint has an extensive array of integrations we can leverage. With these integrations, we can meet you where you are to provide next generation identity security capabilities across your entire identity ecosystem. Today, we'll be focusing on one of the most seamless ways of managing your existing SAP deployment through SailPoint's SAP GRC integration. SailPoint SAP integrations all follow these core identity security use cases to secure your SAP enterprise. Automated provisioning to enable you to master your join, remove, or lever processes. Providing separation of duties visibility and enforcement across your SAP and non-SAP ecosystems. Managing this access across your entire deployment, on-prem, cloud, or more likely a hybrid of both providing you the ability to perform access reviews without spreadsheets or fi flat file uploads and comprehensive, understandable, audit-ready reporting. All this providing centralized governance across both your SAP and non-SAP ecosystems. The core features of the integration are the ability to manage your users and their accounts within SAP GRC. This includes adding and removing access or entitlements. So on day one, SailPoint receives a feed from your HR system that will create an identity cube. Any identity attributes calculated by SailPoint can be written back to the HR system. Based on your defined birthright access, SailPoint creates accounts across all your enterprise applications. This includes passing a create user account request to SAP GRC along with any role assignments appropriate for that starting position. As the employee progresses through their journey with your organization, we can modify the access in SAP by removing and adding access as part of a mover action. And when it's time to leave, we can remove access and disable accounts upon a termination activity. SailPoint can also leverage all the hard work you spent in deploying SAP GRC by leveraging your existing separation of duties rules for risk-based access analysis during an access request started in SailPoint. All of this is out-of-the-box functionality. It all starts with an end user making a request for an SAP role through SailPoint. They could use SailPoint's request center, SailPoint ServiceNow catalog integration, our Teams or our Slack integration wherever the requester is most comfor comfortable. SailPoint first performs a cross-application separation of duties risk evaluation. For example, if the SAP role would create a toxic combination with an Active Directory group that is granting access to another ERP system. SailPoint then passes the access request to SAP GRC as if an administrator or end user can enter the request themselves. Only this time, we're sparing them the carpal tunnel syndrome. As you've configured the workflows, SAP GRC will perform the risk evaluation based on the SAP GRC SOD rules. Also, as you've configured, GRC will perform any approval workflows. If the request is approved, SAP GRC will provision the access to the appropriate SAP application and SAP GRC will then communicate the status of the request back to SailPoint for closure of the access request and to update the user's identity record. And that's how SailPoint can seamlessly integrate with your existing SAP GRC deployment to provide you comprehensive identity security to your hybrid ecosystem. You may have noticed I skipped the last bullet on the SAP integration slide. 
I'll be covering SailPoint's SAP Certified Deployment Configuration to leverage both your existing GRC and Identity Access Governance deployments in Episode 4. But in our next episode, I'll set that up by reviewing what's next for SAP GRC in SAP's next version, GRC 2026. Spoiler alert, SAP GRC is not going anywhere. I'll also introduce SAP Cloud Identity Services and SAP's recommended architecture for integrating with their cloud application ecosystem. Thank you for attending.